先啦，仲為咗佢去入卡拿大咁樣樣，咁樣樣曬到，即係當然原本都應該係冇啦，都係跟住講，係講曬不，但係唔係，唔會都係 follow 啊，唔少 OK。Shane, am I drunk? Are we sitting at a kiddie arcade? Nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Good to have you. Don't need to bet. Please, can I have some water? You want a drink? Then buy one. Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that, fella. <sighs> now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. What if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two know. drinks? Ah, uh, what the hell? I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. I'm <laughs> drunk. Is right. Ready for round two? Forty-seven. What's that? Twenty-five? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. <sighs> oh. Choice. I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair, connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock. Who's asking? Someone who was there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18 year olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. 
Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. And Kyle. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. I didn't say I did. But if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up a school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? So what if I did? <sighs> Had a feeling. Summer of 87. A buddy and I rob a grocery store up in Reno. When the cops find us, I get scared and run. They beat me to an inch of my life. My pal, black guy named Dave. He, uh, he wasn't so lucky. Come on. Let's get you north. Thanks again for the ride. Word to the wise. Lay low. Call a friend if you got one. I don't think he did. I don't think he does. I don't think I do. Yes. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa. I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? The cops. They think I did something. I didn't, but... What do they think you did? There was this burglary, and I was there. I was part of it. But I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I got dragged in, and 
Now they think of... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? I have good instincts. You're not that kind of person. Look, things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? Okay. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Come out, Gene. Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait. Huh? You'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. By the way, you only use your name for the book. Hey, hello, dog. No use to track down. You. gonna regret this but right now you're all I need I know Marlon two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style what's got you so hello Who's there? Sorry, sorry, you, you can... Uh... <sighs> Jesus! I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. Bike blew a tire the first I mile. Tired already. I lost Tyler. Jay abandoned us. Been scrambling uh, ever since. Yeah, the history, uh, we just needed some place to rest. Take a shower. Have Get a... dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, oh, it was the best up. thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. <sighs> What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost a home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. Good people died in there. I'm sorry. Truly sorry for what you and that poor family went through. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Mm -hmm. 
I thought you'd be over the border by now. It all turned to shit, Paul. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, I heard they arrested him. Had a busted leg or something. That's why he never made it. I waited on him as... as long as I could, I... They'll try to break him, but he won't give him the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life, they had it in for him. <laughs> Sorry. But, Jay... At least he got away, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this... for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because... of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? Until a few days ago, yes. Me and Marlon, we were doing just fine. If a cat is all you have, then you ain't happy. Hey, he's a great cat. You're lying to yourself, Paul. Even Marlon can see it. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from t -Lock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, huh? back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Oh, there you go, Ty. It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. That's now, why it wouldn't wait work. a minute. If you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... If, if I'd known what would... Oh, ah, Jesus, I'd never have body. given... Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? Okay. I'm not sure. Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... Oh, I should have known better. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. I need that sweet arm that did him. Why does that set alarm bells ringing in my mind? Jeez, you never used to be this paranoid. Those bells are already ringing. We could both end up in jail without lifting another finger. But there's a way out for us. 
That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> the cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's got to do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me, and I'm locked up for life, but... You. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Payback, call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, you say us being together wasn't meant to be. But I say this is our chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock on, just and drink yourself into away. oblivion. Or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. <gasps> Expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. <sighs> Open up. Shit. Dante。我都知係Dante。佢諗諗都講咗。我都知我都知啦,係咪?我都知佢知我有冇開太字幕邊有機會啦。啊,知道。Fancy <笑> actually came. Well, you sounded like a lost puppy. Can I come in? Well, technically it's too old, so... <laughs> I thought you wanted you to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. So. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> I... Nobody's ever done something like this for me. I don't yeah, deserve it. Of course you do. Why? Look, <laughs> if someone accused me of something I didn't do, my brother would have been right there in my corner. But when he was in trouble... Right. I can help you. So, if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. Can you go to your family? To your mom, maybe? She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. I that's true. I didn't ask who my real parents were. Oh. I just feel dead inside. Like, maybe I don't even care. Of course you care. You're just hurt right now. How do you know? Because I've been there. Believe me. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on you a t-shirt. You know, I actually said something it's like that. It's a good that. t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did he find me? You just your name. Still. Now, open the door or I'll call the police. 
Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Secret life. Lying all the time. Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No. I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Hurry! You! Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car oh, without the key? Don't, 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 don't. You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. This is different, but I think it's these ones. with a fugitive. Uh, they're driving a beige convertible. Ages ago, run away from home. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad saw the car. He'll probably call the cops. At least they don't know which way we went. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish. Hike, live in the forest? Only thing is, how to get in? Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? 
That's a long way for you. I've got all we can. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. Now you want to. I mean, I got a couple. Could you hand me my cigarettes? I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. Uh, he doesn't get you. Not really. Not deep down. No. He definitely doesn't. And you don't either, by the way. For all you know, it could be a serial killer. I think I'll take my chances. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car? What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Lie about myself to someone I like? And what was the lie? It doesn't matter. Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Well, just don't ever lie to me. <laughs> That's hard. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. Oh. So it's like that, huh? <laughs> I said, open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Here I go. You go. You know, talk. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. Waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on. I'm coming in. Sorry. Hi. I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. Got some of your stuff they say from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. If I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any, uh, Plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? <laughs> Not giving it much thought, you know. My neighbor Jerry's looking for an extra pair of hands in his hardware store. I'll get you the number. 
Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, it's me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah, back then I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Go with your gut feeling. That's all anyone can do. Well, like I always say, I'd rather wind up standing in a courtroom than lying in a coffin. Or better yet, everyone just get the fuck out of my ass and let me do my job. So... Birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You're talking Birdie. to those fellas from the DA's office. Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Mm -hmm. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? No, you smoke menthols? Uh, trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah. Once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. <sighs> Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe. It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? That's right. Yeah, that's funny. After those whole boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? You're not pointing a finger at me, are you? Dante, we're family. Oh, sure. Blood's thicker than water. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she?
Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but uh, she, she, she she wanted money. I I, I refused, obviously. I, I should have gone to you, but then she said that if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. You son of a bitch. It was you. You gave her the call. No, listen, Dante. I I, I can. I, you've done you and me both know that's not why you're taking me in no no -uh. don't even start down that road Paul come with me it's not too late you gave me that safe the same model you put in the motel rooms you gave me the factory code where's my book you have it I know you do and you ain't getting it if I don't Finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. No, oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? idea how desperate she was. Her, the money, the house, Bear lost it all. No, no, no. She's using you, Paul. Can't you see? I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. If you listen to him, you're a fool. He'll put us both away. This 
isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? Last person expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Come on, Tim. Look, will you help me or not? What will he give me for it? Oh man, you are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo doo fucking do. Now get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Buddy. She's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. You can't win them all.
come to my party and start this shit here? You started this. Dean, please, let's just go. Uh, 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 uh. Dean, it's time to go. You're one jealous fuck. Well, guess what? She was mine first. Fine. That's right. Walk away, fucking pussy. Are you crazy? Starting a fight with him? I know it was stupid. I just got so angry. He could have put you in the hospital. Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Apparently, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. We should go find somewhere to sleep, before the cops come. But tomorrow, we're done. I'm gonna find There's somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. Wait, we shouldn't go too far from the car. Solely <sighs> for help of me. I'm to do what I need to do. That's what I want. I want to go on the road. Besides, I'm not hunting the lamb. That house you robbed, was that all it was? A burglary? Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And it wasn't just any house. It was Sheriff Romero's. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home. We ran. Got holed up at this mm. motel on Route 66. You're one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea, but the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. People died in that motel. Not because of me. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe you should go. Because what I'm doing Crossing the border illegally and all? It could be dangerous. Ugh. There you go again. Acting like I need protection. That's not it. I just... I can't face seeing you get hurt. Uh, see. A little late cold. for that. Tell you, uh, Tomorrow morning you can drop me at a gas station. Uh, my dad's gonna kill me, but... I'll deal with it. Uh. First you lied to me. Now you're going off without me. You're more like your family than you realize. I'm not like them. Maybe I never was. If you say so. I'm sorry, Vanessa. 
I really am. Yeah. Me too. All yeah, units be advised, the teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous.